Right, hi guys, uh, it's Philip English, uh, 2016 Inner Robo. Uh, we're here with some robot fish for you. So we've got a gentleman here who's going to give you uh, like an introduction and then he's going to explain the product a, li a little bit more. So if you can introduce yourself first. I'm Christophe. I founded uh, the Robot Swing Company in 2009. Uh, it's based on Robo, uh, it's an in Jessica, oops, it's based on Jessica Robofish uh, uh, products. Okay, so give us a run through of how the fish work. I'm assuming that you sort of charge them up, they last so many hours, and then I see that they're attracted to a little light or a little, little beacon. Can you explain to yes. us? Yes, in fact, there are two main innovations. Uh, the first one is the very long range swimming. Uh, they can swim for eight hours or more, so during one day. And the other innovation is about uh, the localization system. Right. It's based on light, so they have a sort of homing head, like on a missile. So you can call them, and they can use uh, beacons uh, in uh, in the tank to for their localization to know where where they go. Right, see them. And then, uh, so for, for these sort of robots, it's obviously you're looking to sell it as a display sort sort of piece. So it's there to design to attract people, so people can come see the robots, and then they come in to the restaurant or they come into the place of wherever that, that the robots are. Is that is that right? Yes, the economic model of our client uh, is to attract people. Yes, it's a, uh, we design this robot to be amazing, to be very amazing to to transmit emotions to people. That's why it's uh, interesting for our customers to, uh, to to use it to attract people and to so that people can uh, take pictures, take video and share it on the social uh, networks. Yeah, so it's got that wow factor. So, you know, that, that wow factor so people can come and see it. So can it go uh, like any color? I can see we've got some blue ones, some pink ones. Is it any color? Uh, in fact, these colors are it was at the beginning used as a, as a debugging system because we, we, we wanted to know the direction and what was uh, uh, the fish thinking about next movements. But we can design it differently, we can choose different colors, or we can also uh, change color uh, by uh, uh, following the music or something like that. Yeah, because that, 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 that was my next question actually. So, is it, it can you literally do. Um, what was it called? Um, like a musical piece. So there'd be certain music playing, and the, and then the fish would go to the to, to the sound of the beat almost. Is that can, can you actually do that? There are many configurations. We can uh, yes create some choreographies. You can they can interact with uh, music, uh, change color or move uh, depending of, of the music, depending of uh, people. If they are attracting, if they are using a, a specific button, uh, beacon or pushing a button or playing with a smartphone. There are many possibilities in interaction with people. Okay. And, uh, and like, what's the next steps then? So you've got this size fish, are you looking to make sort of bigger fish or, or faster fish? Like, what's the next step? Uh, for us, it's, uh, this fish is now uh, it's a definite design, so we only work on uh, the reliability of this fish uh, to to uh, to improve the uh, time between uh, two uh, repairs or two uh, maintenance uh, uh, maintenance operations. But we have another project at Robot Swim. It's a robotic turtle. Okay. This robotic turtle. Uh, the objective is to design uh, a remote turtle. That you can use to explore uh, some parts in a in a tank, okay. and uh, with uh, uh, real-time uh, video uh, directly uh, from, for example, for to use the smartphone. Uh, our customer for it will be the uh, Marine Museum, okay. uh, for example. Everywhere where you have a a tank with fish with a very nice uh, decor and so you want that people can uh, swim in it like if they were they were really in, in it okay and like how big is it, th th this turtle gonna be is it say big or it'd be uh, about uh, 20 centimeters about 20, 20 centimeters. centimeters okay right okay no that's fine so what i'll do is i'll put some links in to show you uh where you can find some more in information about these lovely fish and uh, i think that's a brilliant overview so like thank you very very much for your time thank you